That is Illinois' fate today. And the Illini will have the ball first. Colvin Hawkins to Ty Rogers. It's an Illini team scoring about 83 points a game. And Marcus Damask has been such a huge reason for Brad Underwood. He has the opening three that won't go. And Indiana clears the first rebound with Mbako. And clear that, that Indiana is going to be OK with going under on Damask early. He has not shot the ball well from three here this season, has done other things incredibly well. But you see that they're going under, and they're going to make him prove it from three. And they will go right at Coleman Hawkins, who spins it out away from Renu. It's help there from Quincy Gary. Illinois has been willing to give Coleman Hawkins one-on-one -on -one in the post. And we'll see just what does Illinois want to do this afternoon with Malik Renu. And how much will Indiana run? And Baco has shot it very well recently, although Indiana is not a great shooting team and certainly not a high-volume three-point shooting team. And that's why, because they work the paint with Renew. And we'll see. Xavier Johnson, I thought, really made strides. This is just a breakdown defensively. And Indiana, so fortunate there. Straight line drive off no passes. Indiana won this game here last year by 15 in part because of Trace Jackson Davis and what they did in the post. Well, and they just got off to a great start. I mean, they punched Illinois in the mouth early and I think that we're going to see Indiana look to go to Renew and try to let him go to work. Indiana only gets 21 percent of its points from threes. They are in the bottom eighth of basketball in that category is that walking enough against Northwestern. Well, I think you, you talk about some of those breakdowns Jason that's where that stems from. Especially when you're on the road, it's loud. You got to talk things out. They just were not good at the end of the game when, when they needed to get stops. There were breakdowns that gave Northwestern buckets. Ty Rogers there reaching over the top. I mean, you would know as the voice of the Illini recently. <laughs> I've done three straight Indiana games, too. Here is Damask, Robbie Hummel, expert on these two teams more than anybody in America. Shannon, his opening three is no good. It dangled on the rim, and Illinois is 0 for 6 season number three they have taken twos more than any power team in the country as Trey Galloway does for a four nothing lead and I love Trey Galloway's aggressiveness three straight games and double figures averaging 12 and almost five assists has shot the ball better and that's just a strong take to the basket getting to that paint and area Illinois so far has not had offensive answers Hawkins with five to shoot. He's got the mismatch on Johnson. Using the size, Coleman Hawkins on the skip to the corner. Late for Gary out of the corner of his eye. He and knew the help of, was coming. Yeah, he's just lingering there, but I thought that the way that he waited till late clock, that just not giving yourself a chance. Indiana losers of two straight. 91 points they allowed last Friday against Wisconsin. Mike Woodson was not happy with that at all, saying they had to go back to basics. Renu stepping through and he will get two free throws. He wanted only one. Wendy, he's one of the most improved players in this league. Purdue a little bit of a quiet game. Eight points, nine rebounds. He has rebounded better. And that's something that Mike Woodson desperately needs. He played all but 30 seconds in that game against Wisconsin and they are going to need him today. Hawkins lines up a three and misses again. Well, that's just got to be a simple switch for Indiana. Hawkins got a good look. We talked about communicating on the Illinois side of things. The Hoosiers there, a little bit of a breakdown. Into the post. Nice catch, Renew. Oh, man, Coleman Hawkins wiped it away. I think Coleman Hawkins has to be in the discussion for making the all-defensive team. The, the way that he has been in terms of taking your rock, the steals, he's just he's really made strides on that end of the floor. Oh, he just lost control off that pivot in the lane. Back out for Harmon. Here's Hawkins sliding in, and the first make for Illinois on their eighth shot. A little bit of a helter-skelter. You're going to have to get back. Indiana is looking to push the tempo, and I kind of like it. They're, they're undersized. They've got to be opportunistic. This dude's going to be opportunistic, too. Shannon, <laughs> one on three. I mean, he is the one-man fast break. Once he gets a full head of steam, it's it's pretty much game over. I mean, you count the jerseys there. You're like, okay, is there? No, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, oh, for him, I... it's it's a good idea. Xavier Johnson sizing up Harmon, nicely done. And that's the area where I think, Jason, he's been affected by most. I just don't think his burst has been the same. You think about the way he played 
in that Big Ten tournament two years ago. Illinois, one of the, the teams that Indiana picked off to make the NCAA tournament. I just thought that the way he got by people then, it, it has not looked like that as of late. It's a mask there with the make, but that foot injury in the game against Kansas, December of 22, started it all for Xavier Johnson, and we have a double dribble in the corner. Double statistic right there. Our buddy Brian Colucci digging that up somewhere from deep in his research. I mean, you're playing 500 ball against non-ranked teams, which is wild. Arizona just lost to the last place team in the Pac-12, Oregon State. And if you saw them early in the season, you're, you're thinking, man, this looks like a national championship type team. Boy, Illinois would be, it would do some good to make some layups. That, that was certainly an issue. Also, some threes would help as I well. Mean, Anything would help at this point, but the layup's really an issue in Evanston. Their layups that they didn't make and the dunks they gave up against Northwestern were the story of that game, especially with the defense and overtime. And, and no, no question about that. But at the same time, you look at the way they dominated the offensive glass and just weren't able to take advantage. I think there's a real opportunity for Illinois to do that same thing today against Indiana. Wow. That's a score and a foul for Xavier Johnson on a possession. Xavier Johnson has got to be a player. And he has been a player at times in his career. You know, he's shown that he has had stretches of being a very effective Big Ten basketball player. I mean, we saw it at Assembly Hall a couple of years ago against Illinois. He was the guy oh, he's who, phenomenal. Yes. Point of attack defense, the way he could get in the paint. He can play pick and roll. Nicola Moretti is in the game. Coleman Hawkins just barreling down the lane, wanting contact, still calling for contact. I thought there was contact as he went up for that layup there. They're, they're going to test him, Baco. What a cut by Trey Galloway. Trey Galloway, Galloway has, has played with a lot of confidence these last three. He's just such a solid piece. Always going to compete, always going to guard. Has shot it better. I'll take Trey Galloway on my team any day of the week. He's hit seven threes in the last three games, and yes, he hasn't shot it well, but they could use that piece because, again, Indiana just does they, not they shoot it. Anybody that, that's making threes. That's a steal off the pass from Hawkins for Galloway on a bounce ahead and a pretty good foul there by Moretti yeah, as no well. Doubt. from the floor and Baco on the drive he can't oh, that's score a, that's a good take though he curled that thing right to the rim which has kind of been his progression starting to do that a little bit more it's a good look for Indiana Dane danger into the ball game Terrence Shannon gets is where he, he's gonna have to be prepped and understand that it's not gonna be kind he's, he's gonna have to kind of refine his rhythm too because he was playing so well before his suspension Great hands by Danger there. Shannon. You can kind of see, yeah, that's a nice play. That, actually, well, it, that, it was just like the game looked so easy for him. And I think you could argue that before his suspension, he was maybe the second best player in college basketball. He, he's in that discussion. Well, the question, too, is the psychology of it all, right? Yeah. Like, is it just rust or is it everything that's hanging sure. over his head no, that no might be in his future? Yep. Xavier Johnson into the lane and Baco. Johnson, a little look away, oh, spun it off wow. the glass. That's 11 out of 10 if the last one was no 10. No kidding. I mean, that, that is just a big-time shot. Xavier Johnson has to feel pretty good. Illinois is not. I remember watching that and just, you know, there is no love lost between these two. It's always a great game, and I think strap in because we, we've got more of that here this afternoon. Seems like it. Danger against Renew. Dane Danger leaves it short, and Renew couldn't clear the rebound. Harmon gets mugged. We get a whistle. Rebounding. What happens first? Indiana takes its first three. <laughs> Illinois makes its first three. Well, I think Illinois is going to take a lot more than, than Indiana will, so I'll go I'll go with the Illini making one before we see a Hoosier attempt. But still, we're almost nine minutes in, and this, the fact that Indiana hasn't even attempted one is crazy. And you just think about how physical that entire post move was and then the result of the play. Free food. Nikola Jokic is not here. And the clutch gene. The cl okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. These promotions are awesome. And I, I am so glad they've popped up at Northwestern. Purdue's got it. Illinois's got it here. A hey, free food in Big Ten country that, is a big deal. That goes a long way here. I know you like to say about players who do their patented move. That's his deal. That's their deal in the Big Ten. 
Gary a high for a one armed rebound and he is fouled. I mean he could use him against Dumar Ballo later. Good. But the way he's upped his level from a rebounding perspective has been pretty amazing to see. Damas took an extra step to get Goody a little more room. He missed the three. And Damask the rebound. He plays one through four for these guys. Goody off the juggle and drive. Damask wants it back. Ten to shoot, and he's staggered. Danger the screen. Goody showed it. Damask on the float. Danger! Look out! And that had to feel really good for Dane Danger. He's played ten minutes the last three games. He's going to get some run today with some of the starter struggles, and certainly from a matchup perspective. Inside again, that won't fall for Walker, Illinois, a chance to run for the first time in a while. Indiana's played a very nice defensive game so far. Damask on Renew, on the skip. Gary a shot fake, Indiana recovers well to the corner. That one falls finally, Damask. I think that's Illinois' best offensive possession of the afternoon. I mean, that thing is spraying around, multiple dribble drives, extra passes, and Marcus Damask painted off from that right corner. I asked Brad Underwood for a comparison for Damask, considering all the positions he can play as the score there for Renew. He paused for what felt like a minute and just kind of looked and thought that was a good question. He's a very unique player. So. He said, and the first name, and he said, this is not fair, and I don't mean it like this, but the way he can play reminds me a little bit of Luca. <laughs> that is that is high praise. Gabe Cups up top and Renew. Indiana, whether it's been the Renew post up or there, just opportunistic in the passing lane. And Gabe Cups, a freshman, playing on the road, but defensively, he's very sound. Gets a hand on that ball, and Indiana is going the other way. Can I be clear? He didn't say he is Luka. No, no, no. Okay, I, I, I know. But I know. just I like just, the way, the style. Sure. And, and I, I just, I don't know. I, Luka, he is such an elite talent. So I, he scored 73 last yeah, night. It's not no, perfect I, timing for that. Yeah. If Illinois makes a couple of those, then you can be critical of Indiana. For, but generally, you do have to be in the top 100 or so in being able to shoot your way through game. Well, you're just putting your way yourself behind the eight ball in terms of the points that you could be be having. You know, you look at the analytics of this. Can I give you a Marcus Damas maybe comparison? Yeah. yeah. I guess if we're saying Luca, any options on the table? Yeah. That's what, right. what about Jalen Pickett? I mean, I guess that's that's who this is all modeled after. And the way he's going to back you down, the way you can get to his mid range. I, can foul on Shannon, or do you want me to talk exactly about what you were talking about? No, no, no. You, I you all the game. I think it's a mixture of both. You are the best <laughs> when we work together once every 10 days. <laughs> and Baco, two for two. By Indiana has been really good, and, and they've been able to find opportunities around the paint. For 20 points in the first 12 minutes here, there's Damask showing a little Jalen Pickett. See, I heard you. On the skip, got it to the corner. Gary A you closed off. You wonder if that's one of those that Brad Underwood wants to go up. He talked about how Gary A needed to be more aggressive, and certainly Ty Rogers around the back is a good option as well. But off these skip passes, I think Brad Underwood wants Gary A to, to look for his own offense. He also said he wants Coleman Hawkins to shoot more as well. We've only seen him with two so far. Galloway's had a very nice start to this game for Indiana. Here is Cups on the snake dribble. Galloway wants to drive Rodgers. That had to be something, right? I, I think it was, a, strip. it was a strip, which was then a, a live ball, and it was just recovered by Trey Galloway. Gary A didn't take the three. He drives Cups instead. And they'll slow it down. Indiana has to appreciate the pace of this game to this point. No doubt. Keeping Illinois, especially Terrence Shannon out of transition, is going to be so imperative for the Hoosiers today. More front iron on a Harmon three and a foul against Indy. was 2016. And then you, you realize that that's seven years ago. You know, sometimes you think, well, that's not that long ago, but that, that, that's a remarkable stat in a state where there are so many good shooters. 80 years. Like in know, film, you know? Like since Naismith uh, created the game, that's been what people in Indiana have, have prided themselves on doing. 
Ty Rogers wheeling in the lane. Oh, man, what a play. He really put Malik Renew in the spin cycle there, but staying on balance, keeping that pivot foot, and just finding his way to the rim. Wow, even on balance. We went deep into the washing machine there. It's very nice. Coleman Hawkins, but Renew going to have to stay down. You've got to make Rogers score over the top of you. You can't give him that type of angle if you're renewed. Well, he let him tunnel in as Rodgers goes under the screen on Cups and creates a little carnage. Garrier runs it down, still standing Garrier to the free throw line. Who has the last vestiges of his time at Oregon on his feet today. <laughs> Orange for both. And a one for two, a missed free throw for the Syracuse fans. They love that as well. It's big up in Central New York. Oh, yeah. 20 to 17, five in a row for Illinois. Trey Galloway, head of steam, down the lane to score. Now, if you're Marcus Damask, you're going under on that handoff to stop that. But Trey Galloway with a full head of steam just kind of goes right through him. I think if you're Damask, that's just not physical enough. Yeah, there was a pride factor for Galloway no when he caught the ball there. Damask declined the three, gets it back, won't snap that one off either. On the spin, Damask, oh, wow! Well, of course he's tough for the offensive glass, right? So you think that that's like the transitive property? I do, yeah. Grandpa's tough, tough. Please. Luke plays, so therefore Luke is also tough. Will you ever just let my story stand alone? <laughs> you don't have to respond to everything. <laughs> Here comes the crowd. Galloway into the post. Renew against Hawkins. That was tremendous. I mean, it's one on one. Illinois is going to dig a little bit, but Renew with all his moves, he can go either hand. He's got great footwork. We've seen Coleman Hawkins. It's been tough with guys like Julian Reese and some of these other bigs in the league. Hawkins wants to shoot and cans it. A great slip right there. He slips out of that ball screen and Indiana doesn't talk it out. Ends up being a wide open shot from the top of the key. His plus so he can pop to get into space. So there are keys there for you, right? There, there are things you look for and you know your personnel. No, it's, what it's you're all saying. about your personnel. They're going to go right back to Renew. Hawkins on his right hip. Renew shakes him baseline. A double team. It came from Goody. Renew picks it back up and needs help. And Baco against Rogers. Six to shoot. Rogers got a hand on it, has to still play defense. And Baco charging through and he couldn't finish. A really nice job by Illinois with the verticality there, making that a tough shot for Mbako. Goody wanted that the whole way and missed it. Second chance won't be there. It's all Hoosiers. And Callaway. He just makes so many hustle plays. Trey Galloway is a winning basketball player. That ball is loose, and look who comes up with it. State title winner in high school in 2018 out of Culver, Indiana. Damask going to take this one. I just think Damask can get that at any time. He's got it going, has made a couple. I'm, I'm with it, but. Tough entry there, and Goody's out of bounds. He's trying to tiptoe. And the Purdue game at Mackey Arena also one that they can get as well. That's February 10th at Mackey. They'll get inside one more time. Indiana's had shots at the rim all day. Now they've also made some of the craziest circus shots yes. you'll ever see. That is absolutely right. Rodgers gave up the layup. Extra pass. Goody got the tie. When the ball moves, it has great energy. There's just something about stepping in from the top of the key. You get the dribble drive, you get the extra pass in the swing, and Luke Goody is pure from the top. An Indiana kid that can shoot from Fort Wayne. That's, that's true. Renew. Got it to go. Soft, feathery he, touch. He just doesn't get sped up either. We talked about Damask with that. I love Malik Renew's footwork. The, the way he's worked on his, his opposite hand with his right as well this year. He's just a really good player. Rogers barreling in. Two and a foul. On 251 of key minutes here and seconds as Rogers hits the free throw and gives Illinois their first lead. And this shows Mike Woodson's level of trust with Malik Renew, who was a guy that fouled a ton last year, has been way better this season, but he cannot pick up his third in the next 244. That's exactly right. If he does, it is big trouble for something that is sort of fading anyway for Indiana right now. Trailing for the first time. 
And Baco. High, low, renewed. Beautiful. And is 34. He's off a 28 against Wisconsin. One of your most improved players in the Big yeah, Ten. Yeah, right? no, I, I, I Young is up there. Certainly, th those two guys, games on the line, you feel pretty good about the ball being in their hands. More clutch than Brandon Gordon? Well, I don't think Brandon Gordon is clutch, per se. He's Cooler working the Braves earlier. games now. He's, he's got that. <laughs> Goody again. Oh, it's his second. He's getting hot. Did that even touch the rim right oh, there? I mean, Luke Goody just coming off the pin down and letting it go. Indiana 0 for 1 from 3. Illinois starting to smolder from 3. You can see Coleman Hawkins is just like a rover right now. He's guarding Anthony Walker and he's just playing everybody else. And that safety position created that turnover. Rodgers to the corner. Open look. It's good! This place is ballistic. Tipped away by Rodgers. Up ahead, Damask. Harmon, Damask. No, the follow won't go. Hawkins thought he got hammered. And another missed layup for Illinois. Indiana needs a three. That's not going to go. Walker can't finish at the rim. Again juggled, and now Damask. And missed opportunities on both ends right there. Illinois missing the layup, and then Indiana just can't cash in. Indiana played as well as it possibly could for the first 18 minutes and now finds itself down six. Damask was shot ready, declined. Hawkins on Renew. He's Renew got two cannot, fouls. He cannot foul here. Hawkins wants him to. Hawkins leaning in and, and scoring. And that really affected the way he guarded right there. He knew he couldn't pick up that third. And Coleman Hawkins, he's maybe our best shooter. I want him to shoot. That time he made a great decision to drive Renew. And, and, and Illinois has gone to this little 2 3 zone here. That's what they want. Anthony Walker just Anthony sizing Walker. that up. They're not going to guard him, and he drills it from 12. But that's sort of the, the bind you're in, right? If yeah. you're going to trade three for two. No, I mean, and that's that's the thing. And Indiana's done that all year long. You know, they, they just don't shoot very many threes, and today they haven't made any threes. They've taken two. That, and that is a wild stat. Yeah. That, that truly is. In the era of Steph Curry and the Warriors and the way basketball has been played as Damask lost it off his shoe. Paint touches and all of a sudden those three start going down. Xavier Johnson on the run to the rim against Hawkins. Used the body to follow. Oh, that, well, look out. <laughs>
Xavier Johnson step back. Missed it. Indiana 0 for 3 from 3. Damask in a hurry, and now they'll settle in. Let's see if Terrence Shannon can kind of find a rhythm here. He was a non-factor in that first half. Foul trouble, two fouls into halftime. Hawkins misses, went over the top. Shannon getting to the rim, and that is his MO on the floor. So that's what he's going to do until he finds his rhythm shooting the rock. He is going to look to use that crossover and get downhill. Renew the screen. And Baco long foul. two. Yeah, he did. It's Baco to the free throw line. He's 85% from there. He has been shooting it very well recently. 16 for his last 32 from three. So you wonder if maybe here in the second half he takes more than one three. Well, they need him to be a scoring threat here and a threat from the perimeter. You know, just one of seven from the field. You mentioned only one of those shots coming from the three point line. But he's been the guy that, that has gotten him up. Shannon off the shot fake, driving on Walker. The mid post for Hawkins. That's a tough catch for Damask, so he couldn't coil into the three. Given him the baseline, he skips it. Gary A shimmies by and gets fouled below. Renew went high for the block. Yeah, that's what he's going to say. If, if you know the help is there, doesn't that change? How yeah, you deal it changed. Sir, Gary A at the free throw line, just a 62% foul shooter, and Hawkins spikes the rebound to himself. And a takeaway. Walker from Damask, and he's fouled. Now we got there. Providence leads by three, and all of a sudden that, that three-point lead goes to seven. Doing it was a little tongue-in-cheek earlier when I was talking about him. Oh, leaving your dream job? Change is good. Well, who would do that? Two for Mbako. <laughs> And it's a one-point game. Indiana suddenly five in a row. They've had some real fight here. This answer really impressive by the Hoosiers, especially with that tech coming out of the half. Hawkins wrangling around See, he's, just, he's not nearly as comfortable posting as he is when he can pick and pop and drive. As shown by him giving it up, there's a timeout available. They don't take it. Instead, off the skip, it's Shannon who drew iron, luckily. So now Illinois gets the arrow out of it. Indiana gets the ball and a chance to take the lead. What did Steve say? Well, he just said he had to hurry because the ball was getting put back in play. But he said because it was loose, they went with the alternating possession. <laughs> Big first half for Galloway. Really keeping him to that side there. Floater, he loves that floater. He does. He missed it that time. Hawkins. He saw Goody flaring. Nice closeout yeah, by Mbako. Took him out of his rhythm. What you got to do with Luke Goody? Like 84% of his shots are coming from three. Damask, a really tough look. And Galloway just hung in. It's tough because Damask loves that back to the basket. Galloway pushed him off the block and, and made that a tough contested one. All of this has been well contested through 24 minutes. Indiana even playing through the technical foul at the end of the first half. Trying to take the lead. Hawkins pawing at Renew. Now he arm bars it. Renew is fouled. It's a delayed whistle as he was going down to the deck. Coleman Hawkins can't oh, believe yeah. we've got to defeat this thing, and this is one of the ways that, that we certainly can do that. Talking to Brad Underwood before the game with our producer Bo Garrett, and he was telling Bo, like, look, this is this is the way that I feel like I can really just get out, be myself, yeah. help people, balance my life some as well, uh, selfishly, and then be able to selflessly help. Two as this ball goes up for Shannon and a foul called against Cancer and we're thinking about Dick now. Absolutely, he's, he's been he's been dealing with so much and he's can't, been so can't wait to, both to hear us. him back on the mic. Yes. because he is he is an icon of the sport. It's Indiana by one over Illinois. The Illini just two points outside of those free throws for the technical foul on a 7-0 run for Indiana ongoing. On a touch into the corner, Xavier Johnson is fouled.
watched him a lot over the past few weeks, and you said off the top you felt like it's coming back. That's an example of it, certainly. Well, I hope it is, because nobody deserves to, to have the type of injured seasons that he has. And I, I really feel for him in that regard, because I know how frustrating that is. Yeah, what's it like to not have the burst? Well, you, you can come back, and you're thinking, well, I'm just going to go back to what I was. And then all of a sudden, plays that you used to make that were simple are, are now just not happening. And I'm sure now that the pressing starts, it's just kind of a miserable cycle until you start playing better. And hopefully that's this for Xavier Johnson. Renew through bracket coverage, got it out for Mbako. Five to shoot, he's against Harmon. Mbako left it short, but followed it the whole way. You know what he did there, though, Jason? He rolled to the rim. He was going towards the basket. He's got the matchup with Harmon. The double never comes. If you take a fadeaway, you're not getting that type of look. But because you're going downhill, he ends up getting the putback. You're Illinois here. What does this look like? I mean, Damask obviously with a drive there. Hawkins didn't take the shot. Goody will. Right now, I mean, Indiana doing a nice job of stopping some of the bully ball we've seen in the three-point line. It heated up into the first half. It's gone dry again for the Fighting Illini. They're 0 for 3 from 3 in the second half. Renu tangled with Hawkins. It's Mbako, air ball, foul, and Renu if it is. Dre gets one more into the game for the first time today after just one minute in the game against Northwestern, even through overtime. Brad Underwood looking for some answers here. No doubt about that. He's got five points since 12-29. Getting very restless right now. Look at that. He's got the whole side. This is just going to be him and Coleman Hawkins one on one. Renu score. I mean, he's just too strong. Hawkins more of a perimeter big. And Malik Renu as strong as just about anybody in this league on the block. I just think if you're Illinois, that would be big for a certain city. <laughs> I've heard. Seven-point lead for Indiana, 13-0 run for the Hoosiers, ongoing. Illinois, one of ten from the field here in the second half. They have not made a three. Damask has thought about a couple of them. Now he'll back cups in. Gibbs Lawhorn. Got it for three. And that's just got to be a play where McKenzie and Baco is there on the catch. He's just a little bit behind. You've got to give Gabe Cups help with the mask. And because you're late, Greg Gibbs Lawhorn, he can make plays. He is a talented freshman, especially on that offensive end of the floor. He played for the great Montverde program. His sixth three of his college career just happened. I'm Illinois. I I'm doubling Renew. I'm not just going to let a team that's taken three top of the league at this point. I think just a statement last night. AJ Store has been terrific for them. I love their depth. They've got a lot of really good pieces. Connor is season can't get playing time some days. Drake Gibbs Lawhorn just hit a three and he turns it over there. How about this? Indiana still has not made a three. We've seen all those lead changes you just saw pop up on the screen. They've only taken three, which is why Hyman, Illinois, every dribble drive and every post up is multiple bodies and make them prove, make the Hoosiers prove that they can make a three point shot. Hawkins just had to do it there, man to man. Harmon flailing in. The follow is good for Damask. Yeah, Damask never, never assumed that that play was finished. He stayed right there, ran the floor, and it's a big offensive rebound. Goody enveloping Walker into the corner. It goes in Baco. Harmon's lucky because he went removed. Much like that Gary play into the Northwestern game. Baco catches that. It's going up. Galloway misses the three. Would have been huge for Indiana. Hawkins, no. Hawkins, no. So these layups for Illinois have gotten just, it, it's crazy what they have missed the last two. Talk about crazy, that pass was the moon ball. in the category <laughs> of catapult shot. Out top, that three won't go for Cups, and Goody got overrun. This is out of bounds. It's a tough job, man. It tough is. job. It, it totally is. 
Halfway through the second half, Indiana by two. Indiana's got to bring some help here. But Renew did it. They're going to get him. They can't get number four here. If he does, I still don't think he's coming off the floor. Probably can't, right? No. Jalen Pickett essentially going to work. It's Damask fouled by Walker. That's his third. Dude, he's, he's... Goody with the shot fake. And Baco recovered for a moment. And then Goody beat him. Baco's dribble contain was not good enough. And so we're tied yet again. Illinois hasn't exactly cashed in at the free throw line either. Think about layups and foul shots, it's not been good. Seven for 13 at the line for Illinois. Galloway, is this the first three for Indiana? The answer is the same as it's been all day. He's wide open, too. Better Goody wanted down. it. Harmon the rebound, saving for Goody. Shannon on the weak side. Like, I think Shan he, Hawkins has got to shoot the basketball when he's open there. The defense was totally thinned out. He gave it up there for Harmon. Hawkins oh, flying in from nowhere for two and a foul. Another missed free throw. If Illinois loses a game, it might be because of that. <laughs> Just laying all you the sim hypotheticals you out. You simplified this to a, a very good place for us. Thank you. Bite-sized pieces. Hawkins fighting with Renew, and Renew's got to be careful there. Yeah, Harmon just heating that ball up. The pressure on Gabe Cuffs trying to throw the ball into Malik Renew. Five to shoot. Johnson That's dropping it pass. off, and Renew's. Renew at the line. No. Is Oh, right in the corner of the screen, yeah, Darren caught it. It doesn't go well with Nuggets. 51-50. Renew playing with four fouls, got himself to the line there, and then comes off. I would assume at the under eight, he's coming back. Damask. Back to the goal, turning and scoring. And just use your size. You've got Xavier Johnson down there, and Damas knows that at 6'6", he can just go right over the top. Galloway on Hawkins. Cups to the corner, Walker. Banging in and missing. Damas got spilled. The question for Indiana right now is who scores with this lineup out there? That's a charge. It's sure. And they're shooting 50% from the free throw line, so the shooting has not exactly been on display this afternoon in Champaign. Not William Tell like marksmanship so far. Renew with four fouls That's still going to work. And I like the play out of the timeout. Duck Renew in. You've got some action on the far side. You've got a one-on-one -on -one with Coleman Hawkins. Again, if I'm Illinois, I'm showing renewed multiple bodies every time he touches it. I know coaches block at this, Rob, but wouldn't you try and get him his fifth foul? Absolutely. Especially with, you know, with the way that he's going to have to guard. He's going to be guarding. It looks like Terrence Shannon. Drive the ball. So that's a settle. Yeah. That's not a good shot, especially with Shannon not in rhythm. And Shannon is very good at getting to the foul line no as doubt. well. No doubt. But I think his, his confidence in his game right now is, is not where we saw it before his suspension. He is two for nine from the floor. So good spin right there, but the pass just not there from Galloway. It was behind Renew. Hawkins got a hand on it. Now he's barreling down the lane for the kick to Harmon. Illinois has passed up some threes. Yeah, they, they did it in Evanston as well earlier in the week. Goody, Damask, Indiana's right there. Damask wants to go left. Goody wants to shoot, and rightfully so. And how many times is Indiana going to get torched on a post trap with someone coming to the strong side? And that's that's the first pass away, and that's the, the, the only guy you've got to take away. Then you zone up on that back side. We saw it in Madison, and we're seeing it again today in Champaign. At a huge spot in the game as well. Xavier Johnson's wide open. And the shot was wild. 
Shannon to the rim. That eight, nine, or ten times. Just total breakdowns. Saw the foul trouble for Indiana, and we'll see how big of a role that plays. Mike Woodson cannot go terribly deep with no. Khalil Ware out today. I think the, the players that we've seen on the floor are who's going to finish this one off. I don't think we're going to see any surprises here over the last 5.33. Renew. A charge would be the end of his day. Harmon helps off of Johnson. He'll help again off of Johnson. Xavier Johnson pulled the string on it. You could see it. And it's, it's a wide open shot. Indiana's just got to make a shot from the perimeter. They have not so far today. Five minutes to go in Champaign. Indiana has won three straight in the series. If I'm Shannon, I am driving this thing and I am putting the onus on the officials to make a call. He did. He didn't get the contact. Hawkins tried to palm it in. It is out of bounds. This time. Not inside of two minutes, though. No review possible. Much to the dismay of the crowd, who now would vote for instant replay at all times. <laughs> but just currently. Where he started 19 games for Jim Laranega. And their best scoring team since 1994, but in a grinder today. This is gonna have to be help as well. Let's see if Indiana can rotate out of this. Ball handoff. Shannon, a little foot faking. He missed the free throw. One for two. Where are the offensive answers for Indiana? Galloway scoreless in the second half. They're looking to throw it into Renew. He had to really run that Good thing cut. down. Shannon That's got a great beat. Cut from a guy who has Anthony not played Leo. since January 9th at Rutgers. And Anthony Leo with a terrific cut off the ball. So much attention on Renew, and Leo able to take advantage. His first points since two days after New Year's Day. And Harmon wildly misses Leo the rebound. Leo known for, for his shooting prowess from the three-point line. Really. That's what he was recruited as. Maybe hasn't translated to college, but to see him get a bucket inside the paint, certainly a bit of a surprise. Leo wants to drive now. He lost it. He tried to spit it out across the lane and taken away by Illinois. Can't lose your mind out here. Hawkins just picked up the fifth high. foul on Renew. 31 minutes you have to cover. That one sat down for Hawkins. Thrown into this basketball role. Fred Underwood has always looked for more consistency, and he said before the game, he's getting there. No, he is. He's got a lot of talent, man. Defensively, what he's done this year, really impressive. And just think for him, it's staying in an even keel. And that's going to be his biggest challenge. Xavier Johnson oh, wow. to the rim. <laughs> Johnson misses. Both these teams, when this game is over with, are going to look at this stat sheet and say, man, we, we left some real opportunities on the table. There are leftovers, both sides. You want to play through Damask. Shannon gave it to him. It's Damask with five, got to go, got to face. Damask does. Oh, wow! That's a big time play. Marcus Damask just taking the physicality of the defender and rolling on it for a turnaround jumper. Enormous shot, Mbako with a bullet down low and Walker finishes. Anthony Walker, great pass by Mbako. You think about him, you think of his scoring prowess, but they're finding Anthony Walker. Under two to go. Hard drive into Leal, and Leal took it from Harmon. He hung in there on that dribble drive, and all ball. 
Indiana could take the lead with its first three of the day. And Baco pull up two. That's Cash. Boy, how calm, cool, and collected he looked there. On both the, the pass screen. and the shot. No doubt. These are two big time plays by a freshman who's certainly come along nicely this season, but th those are impressive plays out, out of the game. They go back home for their next two as well, so they can put together a little bit of a streak. Illinois in the way, tied at 62. This is just an isolation, but you can see Indiana is just showing bodies at Terrence Shannon. He ran over Johnson and is guarding Terrence Shannon. I'm simply saying, no, I, overall, I, yeah. Shannon, two for two. think that this ball is going to be in Xavier Johnson's hands to create. And also have a Baco off screen action. It's Johnson. He got bumped. A tremendous distributor now needs to be a scorer for Indiana late in this game, and he missed again. He's two for six. Hungry no more. The Orange Crush and Illinois by two. to think that this ball is going to be in this man's hands. Brad Underwood has entrusted Marcus Damas to make plays late, and you can see it's, it's going to be his rock. He's got Walker on him. Kick it to the corner, Harmon. He got it to go. He made a very similar shot at Northwestern late in that game, just getting into the paint and raising up. And Baco, step back. That is not the first three made today. Rebound, Shannon elbowing his way out of pressure. With Shannon got the first. And you're not seeing many teams go 0 for 8 from 3. From a make or attempt standpoint. That's it's exactly it. You don't see it. To the rim, reverse won't go, and a foul called on Leal on the rebound. You're not going to win if you go 0 for 8 from 3. You're not going to win games in this. Two for two. This was tied at 62. Illinois has rattled off eight in a row. No good for Mbako. Indiana, for the first time in 14 years, is going to go without a made three. And Illinois takes down the Hoosiers with that 70 to 62.